Hello, it's John with Spoons Works. I want to talk to you about if you're looking at getting in the electrical trade in the U.S. or either as construction, uh, maintenance technician, anything like that, you're not only going to need on-the-job training, on-the-job learning, um, typically you're going to need <clears throat> classroom hours. And, pardon me, um, you need 144 classroom hours typically per year for four years, so 576 hours, in order to meet the standards under the Federal uh, Apprenticeship Act uh, to have the classroom hours through a registered apprenticeship. If you're going through a non-registered apprenticeship, you still want to pick up the classroom time so eventually you can, you'll have the background so you can test, you can take a journeyman's test wherever you need to. Uh, there's a lot of places where you don't have to take a journeyman's test in order to work, but usually when you're going to go some, when you want to go make the long green, you, you need to be able to take the test. So some of the things I'm going to talk to you about right now, this is going to be very long. It's going to be one thing you need to know about hand tools. You need to know what hand tools there are. Now, Klein puts out the proper use and care of hand tools. This little book that you can get. Um, if you look it up, I bet you can, I had a distributor give this to me. I don't know where to buy them. I've never had to buy them. But if you go through, it'll show different tools, their uses, and, and not just hand tools, not just like what you're going to use when you're doing construction. It has a lot of uh, the tools you need for doing maintenance as well, and lineman tools. Now, another book to get, and if I was going to only ever get one book, if that's all I was ever going to get, and that's the only thing, I would get an Uglies. This is the one that's on the 2020 code. It's called Uglies Electrical References. This is the book I would get. This has almost everything you need to do the job in it. And it this one is specifically based on the 2020 code book here. All right. This is, this is the National Electric Code, and this is based off the 2020, which is this. And at the time of this, this is the current one. Now, my code book is spiral bound. Most of them you'll find they have a, a ridge on the back, and they're almost all uh, paperback. You can get them hard bound if you want, but they're really expensive. But this book has everything in it you'd need to do the job. And if you were working in the field, you could use it to do just about everything you needed to do. I have... Uglies books, it's 2008, 2014, 2017. I don't know where my older ones are. I have them. I have them go, I think they go back to 93 or something like that when I first started, when I was first getting around the trade and doing stuff. But this book is the king. If I was only going to have one book, this is what I would get. Now, most likely, if you're getting into, um, the electrical trade, and you're not going through the IBEW or GM or the UAW, I mean, um, through their maintenance side, you're probably going to end up starting with residential wiring. This ugly books on residential wiring would be the next thing I would get. I would have this first, and then I'd worry about getting this um, uh, and a code book. If you're going to end up wanting to stay in this trade, you need to learn how to use that code book. But starting out, I would get this one for sure. And if I was doing a lot of residential, I would get this one. You can go through it and, and tell you, answer questions you have. It'll give you, like, where to put the ground. It's a great book. Both of them are. Now, Uglies also puts out a safety manual. I have this one because I am responsible for people's safety. So I have it. And as you see, I it didn't do so well with my coffee one day, but you can go through and it has, if you have questions about what's safe, you go through and you look and it'll give you the information you need. If you're not running work, I don't see this as being that big of a deal because you're not, you're responsible for yourself and everybody else. But if you're running work or you think you need it, do this. Now, there's a lot of different things you need to learn. Conduit bending is one of them. There's 
the Benfield manual on conduit bending. There's this electrician's guide. Uglies puts out a book on conduit bending. There's plenty of books. And I will never, ever say that YouTube is a bad way to go to get information. There's a lot of great channels out there that teach a lot of great things. Um, but you need to have some of the basics behind you or a place, another place to reference to make sure that whoever is showing things is as reputable as you think they are. Um, it's always good to fact check. I mean, fact check me. That's what you should do when you're do dealing with this. Now, other things. Um, pocket manuals. They're always handy. They have some information, but they're down the line. Uh, I like the Audel because it's very similar to Uglies, but it just puts the information in a different way. And sometimes I need that, and I go digging through to look at look at something a different way, or try to show it to somebody a different way. Uh, there's also like the wall has a book on electric motors, small one that you can throw in a lunchbox or into a bag. And Uglies has one. Um, I like them both. This version of the Uglies I haven't really dug into yet because I haven't had to. I don't know where my old one is. Um, and if you're not going through a registered apprenticeship, if you're doing this on your own and you're trying to nickel and dime it and figure it out, another good way to go is if you're teaching it to yourself. This electrical course for apprentices and journeymen, that's a good one. Teach yourself electricity and electronics is a good one. And I still use my Electricity 1.7. I reference it all the time if I have things to look up, uh, especially since I teach electrical courses um, at two community colleges and at high school. I use this a lot as a reference in the show, get information to show students how to look things up. Um, I could probably, with these two books, teach the majority of an electrical apprenticeship. It would be very difficult. I'd have to reinvent a lot of wheels and reduce a lot of things. But this, with these two, I could probably pull out enough information to teach a program. But that's because I have years of experience in the field and years of experience in the classroom. Anytime you're taking a course, you're looking, if you can't, if you somehow the book that is assigned to the course is not working for you, Say, like electrical motor controls book. If this isn't helping you, if you're having problems, look in uglies and see what matches to what's in there. See if this explains it more simply. This one probably will. It'll be more direct to what's going on if you're not catching it from the book. I always like having this around. I still keep one around. That's why I just pulled them all of them by different bags and stuff I have. I even, I'll even might even have an old one on me when I'm doing something else because. It may not have the updated code information in it, but it gives how to do combination circuits, what how buck and boost transformers work, um, conductor fills. You'd have to check that with the current code to make sure it is right. And it gives electrical symbols. I mean, it's there. You can get that information. And if you're going further, if you're really going further. You can get like a DeWalt book on licensing exams, um, master electrician and journeyman electrician questions. You can get all of these things. They're there. If you are working, it's easier to do this, to work, to know the test, to understand the work that's being done. Or if you're in the commercial field, you get a book on commercial in industrial wire, and I'm not saying this exact one, but you can get something like this if you're not going through an official apprenticeship and go through and figure it out. It, it's all possible. If you're going through an associate's degree program through community college in electrical trades, or you're going through an apprenticeship, or you're going to a trade school specifically for electrical, there's other options. If you're having a problem with what's going on, with what you're doing, with um, with the textbook at hand, which can happen. Everything's different for everybody. Don't be afraid to reach out, but I definitely, this book, you gotta have.
And if you can get a hold of one of these books, I don't even know if they're in print anymore. I would get one of these books. These are great for this is great for school. This is great for the field. And uh, that's it. I so I hope everybody has a good.